Behold, I stand at the door of the church and continually knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him, restore him, and he with me. You see, Jesus chooses to wait and knock because he desires something that authority and power can't buy. He wants a relationship with his creation, a relationship of mutual choosing. And where there's not permission, there can't be love. You see, love cannot be forced. Love has to be granted permission, which is why permission is sacred. And that's why Jesus stands on the outside and knocks. Jesus stands at your door because permission is sacred. You have to make the choice to let him in or to leave him on the outside. He wants more than anything to be in a relationship with you, but he will never force it because permission is sacred. Hello, my friends. Today, I want to share with you a passage from the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and eat with him and he with me. These words, they're not just words. Believe when I tell you this. They're an invitation, an invitation from the divine, from our creator to open our hearts and let him in. But I know, I understand that sometimes it's hard to believe. Maybe you've been hurt. Maybe you've been through trials that have shaken your faith to its core. Maybe you were raised in an environment that didn't nurture belief. God knows your struggles, your pain, your walk, and most importantly, your heart. Rest assured, God knows. In the book of Ecclesiastes, Solomon tells us, a generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. It's a reminder that throughout history, throughout the generations, human nature repeats itself. And God sees it all. He sees our flaws, our mistakes, our doubts. Yet, despite all of this, God's love remains unchanged. Remember after the flood, when God made a promise in Genesis 8:21, he said, I will never again curse the ground because of man. Neither will I ever again strike down every living creature as I have done. Even when we anger God, he continues to love us all the same. Do that mean to continue in sin? God forbid. It means to pick yourself up and try your best not to live in sin. His love endures even in the face of our imperfections. So I urge you, let go of your pride. Surrender unto God, for he loves you beyond measure. He wants you to be reconciled unto him, and the only way that is possible is to let go of this world. And yes, there will be a day when all our tears will be wiped away, when pain and suffering will cease, and we will dwell in paradise with him. But until that day comes, let us pray for one another, love each other, and forgive each other. God says he will forgive you of your trespasses if you forgive others of theirs. Confess your sins, repent, and strive to walk in the path of righteousness. Will you stumble? Yes, but remember, God knew you before you knew yourself. God said, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. Trust in him with all your being, for he is the way to perfection. So my friends, as we part ways for now, remember to keep the faith. Pray without ceasing, love unconditionally, and forgive always. For in doing so, we draw closer to the divine and find peace that surpasses all understanding. He gives you a new heart, a new desire, a new joy, a new peace and a certainty that if you died, you'd go to heaven. The Bible says in Acts 16, whose heart concerning Lydia, whose heart the Lord hath opened. God will give you a new heart. Ezekiel 36, 26 says, a new heart also will I give you. You can be born from above and receive a new heart and a new nature. Haven't you seen shops that were dirty and shabby and drab and that were sold or maybe a restaurant and it has a big sign outside that says under new management that's what it means when you come to Christ you get under new management Christ manages it therefore if any man be in Christ he's a new creation when you come to Christ you must come with your body your mind and your heart would you do that tonight until next time may the grace and love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always amen thank you for watching if you found this video to be helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.